give the other person some resources they didn't have. That person that abused us when we were five years old that we are still traumatized by, that we can go back and have an experience by reframing that. They call it changing your history, but you don't, you know, making very clear that you can't change what happened. You can change how you feel about it by going back and imagining, you know, when I was five and that happened, if that person would have had because the assumption's got to be they were doing the best they could come up with for who they were at that point, too. If they, if they would have had more resources, how would they have acted differently if they, if they had had better resources available to them, more kindness, more gentleness, or whatever they need? You give it to that person in the imagination and let, them, let the person imagine that person now acting with love and kindness and gentleness Yes, it's a fantasy, but by imagining it, it, it gives a different feeling. And then that five-year-old that didn't have many resources built up in life or much experience yet to draw from, if that five-year-old, even with that person doing what they did, because history is, did happen, mm -hmm. if that five-year-old would have known some of the things you know now, and you can go back and you can say, what, what would you have given that five-year-old that would have allowed that five-year-old to form a different belief about themselves than the one they formed? Instead of thinking they're not good enough mm -hmm. from that point, out of that, that belief was formed, let's say that's the one that was formed in that moment, you find out. What belief would have been formed if they, or what, what, what did they need that would have allowed them to have a, a better experience there? They could have been more understanding, realizing that person is hurting or that person just doesn't have any better better way to respond or something and then you can you know say well imagine that five-year-old having tell it you know tell that five-year-old you you know that person really just didn't know any better that person just really had a horrible life and didn't didn't understand how to treat people or something and give it that understanding, it doesn't change what happened, but it changes how you feel about it. And what belief, with that understanding of that person, what, what different belief might have been... You do that in hypnosis, right? Yeah, well, yeah. We're doing it, we can do it right now. I'm doing it right now in my head. <laughs> you know, in your imagination. Mm -hmm. So what new belief might have been formed if you would have understood that that person just really had a horrible life and was miserable? and it wasn't about you at all. Well, then I would have understood that this wasn't about me and I would, I would feel sorry for them. My belief would be that, that I'm okay. It wasn't about me, okay? Grow them up with that new belief. Everything's different. It's powerful. But everybody has stuff like that in their past. Everybody Being in this chair was really enlightening because I was in a whole different place as a client. And hearing the feedback from everybody, because I would be in the seat saying what you yeah, were Yeah, yeah, sure. But I'm just like, oh. Well, good. Yeah, it was good. Like and I, I, I really like want to. careful not to put my own. I yeah. know that anyway, but I, sure. and it's, I felt what it feels We like. all do it, because <laughs> we all want to help, and we all have our own yeah. for wherever we are. Mm -hmm. And it's just, uh, I, I hope this was helpful, and I really want to compliment you and thank you for putting yourself up here okay. and being so exposed like this, because it's not easy yeah, to do. <laughs> and hopefully, <laughs> and, ho and hopefully, by the way, I, you know, I, my my intention is to help you with. Yeah, I know it was I, a demo, but I know and your mind one your one mind one is one listening. One your <laughs> unconscious <laughs> is listening. You know, rem I, I and remember, I remember. Because you're already happier. I am happier. What, uh, uh, let, let me let me just remind you. I know you know this. I know you all know this. Yes. What is hypnosis? My mind when I was just doing that little thing talking about yeah. going that I just made that up just now yeah. I know I went into trance and I was aware everyone in this room was yeah, in I trance was like, I, I started going like this. that's <laughs> hypnosis hello if we put yeah. the electrodes on we were all at least in alpha I was probably even a little deeper because I was pretty <laughs> I don't know where that came from it was just flowing so hypnosis is we're, we're always mm -hmm. in and out yeah. yeah anytime I ask you to talk about this stuff you're going into a little bit of a regression yeah. Just by remembering something. So the pre-talk is part of the hypnosis. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. 
And now she's ready to go into a really deep, we could go really deep now, but I'd rather you all do that. So, But it, I hope that was helpful, because I, I came up with that, and I thought the best way to, and, and we could do this yeah, over and over that. and over. And like I said, I'm not, I don't always make the right choice, but I'm, I'm, my goal with this was to offer you at least what I'm listening for and what I'm wanting to avoid as well. I don't want to lead in, in the, in the pre-talk. I don't want to lead or guide her in a direction. I want to just stay open and ask questions and listen. That's what today's about. Listen, because our mind is going, oh, I think yeah. I know what would help her, you know, and I think this will help and I think I sh she should think this way or do this. That's where that bubble, you get. that's what I think of that bubble as being. Get all that stuff, just let it go and trust yourself. We need a break. Yeah. It's almost lunchtime, so I know we need a break. We did